Before we start, here is a coupon code with 50% off on any LumaFusion bundle on RobertGaveLogs.com. All the links down in the description below. So in today's video, we're gonna make another animation in LumaFusion, so nothing else needed except for LumaFusion. And the animation that we're gonna make is a subscribe box animation, which looks like this, where we have the change of the subscribe button as well, when the finger is tapping on the subscribe button. There's also a placeholder for photos there, so whether you want to add your or, uh, you know, logo or different uh, photos, depending on the video that you upload, you can also change that because it's a placeholder, so it will follow the animation anyway. So that's what we're gonna make today. Now, if this is the first time that you are here, really appreciate that you stop by my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate that so we can reach 100,000 subscribers. We're so close, 2,000 subscribers away. So I would highly appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. And by doing that, you don't miss out on any future giveaways and future videos as well. Now with that said, let's head over to the iPad. Now first we're going to start by making a new main title. We can create a new title by tapping on the circle with the plus and choose main title. Then we're going to stretch it out so we have our desired duration. Now a pro tip here is to stretch out the animation, then move back and do a playback so you get the feel of how long the duration will be. So if it's too short, then you can stretch out the layer even further. And if it's too long, then you can shrink it in. So depending on how fast or slow you want the animation to be. Now we're going to start with five seconds here because later we can also adjust this and do some cuts and then we can extend the animation or we can shrink it down depending on what we want. So now that we have our shape layer at five seconds we're going to go into edit and we're going to move over to titles. Here we're going to delete the text and add a new shape. We're going to keep the size of this shape, but we're going to adjust the size of it and make it a little bit smaller. Now, once we have the position set, we're going to make a duplicate of this shape layer. We're going to change the color of the duplicated shape layer to gray, and then we're going to move the gray shape layer on top of the white one because the gray is going to be the background. Then we're going to tap on the shape layer on the top and we're going to take the handles and just drag it down to our desired position. Now, since we're going to have an image inside of the white shape here, we need to add sort of a frame to make it look a little bit better. So we're going to select the white shape layer and then make a duplicate. On the duplicated shape layer, we can change the color to gray or any other desired color. We're also going to change the size of it and make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna move over to edge color and take the opacity all the way up to 100 and the width to 40. Now we will have a basic frame around the shape, which will be the frame of our image. Now we can also remove the gray color in the middle by changing the face color to white, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna fill this with an image later on. And now that we're happy with the shape of our box, we can move over to titles and we're going to add a new shape. This is going to be the subscribe button. So we're going to make sure that this is at the bottom so it's on top of all the layers. Now we're also going to resize this to our desired size and place it where we want it to be. So in this case, I want it to be on the left side underneath the frame. Now, after placing the subscribe button, we can see the background layer is a little bit too far down. So I'm going to select the background layer, take the handle and adjust so we have a perfect line around the subscribe button, something like this. So now that our basic framing is complete, uh, we need to add a text to the subscribe button. So we're going to add a new text. We can also change the font and the color. So in this case, I'm going to change the color to black and we're going to adjust this and align it on top of the subscribe button. Now, since we're going to make a clickable subscribe button, that means we're going to have a hand coming in, clicking on the subscribe button. We want the subscribe button to change color. So we're going to do this the easy way. So the next thing we're going to do is to duplicate the text layer one more time. And then we're going to change from subscribe to subscribed. And then we're going to change the color to white. Now, we also need to duplicate the subscribe button. So we're going to select that duplicate and for this we're going to change the color to red so now that we completed both of the subscribe buttons i want to change the color of the subscribe text i don't want it to be completely black so i'm going to change it to something more grayish 
So now we're almost done with the subscribe box, which we're going to animate later. But there's still a few things that we need to add. So we're going to go over to the square with the plus and we're going to add an image layer. This is where we want to have the different buttons like the share button, bell button and also the like button. We're also going to use this to add our image in the center of the frame. Now let's move over to iconfinder.com and find the icons that we want to have in our animation. Now once we have the icons downloaded, it's really important that you go over to files folder and over to your download section and then you find the icons that you just downloaded. Now you're going to tap on one of these at a time and then tap on the share icon and choose save image. You're going to do this to all the icons that you downloaded. And this is because we need to have them in our photos app to be able to use them within LumaFusion's image layer. Now once this is done, we can move back over to LumaFusion and we can import the icons that we want to have. So we're going to start with the like button and adjust this appropriate to our likings and we're going to do the same thing with the other icons. So we're going to duplicate the image layer or add a new one and then we're going to import the other icons and we're going to adjust with the center X and center Y to make it as accurate as possible. So now that we applied the icons, we want to apply an image within the frame. So we're going to add a new image layer and make sure that we position this appropriate to the framing. Now I can see that the image layer is a little bit smaller than the shape or the shape is a little bit bigger than the image layer and it's a little bit misplaced. So an easy fix here is to drag the image layer towards the bottom of the frame and then select the frame and just take the handles and stretch it inwards so it matches the image layer. And once we do this, we can also see that we have some misplacement in the white box behind it. So we need to select that and adjust it. And adjusting this, we can also see that we have some of the gray background layer popping up on top of the box. So we need to select that and just drag it towards the center. So now that we've done all the adjustments, our subscribe box is complete. The next step is to move back out to the timeline and import the hand that we want to animate. Make sure to trim this in length so it matches the duration of the box, which is on track number one. We can also see that there's no animation to the box. So we will need to go back out to the timeline and start with the animation of the box because the hand is going to follow the animation of the box. So moving back out to the timeline and into edit on the box layer, we're going to move over to frame and fit and resize and change the position according to where we want this to be placed. I want this to be in the bottom left section and I want the animation to come up from the bottom. So we're going to drag this outside of the frame and then we're going to make a keyframe. Now to save some time on the animation, I'm going to skip one frame for each keyframe that I make. And I'm also going to start by doing minor adjustments to the position Y as I start. And once I get to the middle of the animation, I'm going to have bigger changes to the position Y. And as I get closer to the end of the animation, I'm going to have smaller changes to the position Y. Now at the end of the duration, we also want the box to go back out of the screen. So we need to make an animation at the end of the layer as well. So into edit over to frame and fit and we're going to do the same animation, but we're going to do it the opposite way. So instead of moving it upwards, we're going to start from the standing position and then we're going to animate it out of the frame. Now here we only have to start with smaller adjustments to the position Y as we start and as we proceed towards the end of the duration, we can have bigger changes to the position Y and we don't have to do bigger changes and then smaller changes as we get to the end because the animation is going to go out of the frame. So now we animated the beginning and the end of the animation and it's now time to animate the hand. So the first thing we're going to do is to scrub on our timeline to find the exact position right before the animation of the box stops. And here we're going to make our first keyframe. Now we're going to keyframe the hand slowly into placement, which is going to be on top of the subscribe button. And once we get the hand on top of the subscribe button, we're going to make the click animation. And to make the click animation, we're going to move one keyframe forward in time 
and then we're going to decrease the size by 0.1 and go one more keyframe forward in time and decrease by 0.2, then 0.3. Then we're going to start the other way around and increase the size. So we're going to do plus 0 0.3, then plus 0 0.2, and then plus 0 0.1. And on the next keyframe, we're going to start the movement over to the like button. Now we're also going to repeat this process for every single button that we want to click. So in this case, that will be the like, share and bell icon. Now, as I start to animate the share button here, we can see that the animation of the box is starting to go downwards. So that means the length of our duration is too short. So we need to extend the duration of the animation. Now, if we go into edit on the box layer, which is the subscribe box, we can see that there is a gap here where we don't have any keyframes. So we're going to go to the beginning or right after the last keyframe of the beginning animation has ended. And we're going to go back out to our timeline and make a cut. And we're going to do the same thing to the next clip. We're going to go to right before the keyframe starts, make a cut. And then we can duplicate this and place it next to the middle clip on track number one. But before you do this, I recommend that you add your selected image. Because if you don't, you will end up having multiple layers that you will go into later on and then add the image. So before you do these cuts, make sure that you add the image that you want to apply. So now that we extended the duration of our animation, we can move back into the hand layer and continue our animation. Once our hand animation is complete, our animation will look like this. Now, earlier in the tutorial, we created two versions of the subscribe button, one which is white and black and the other one which is red and white. Now we're going to go in and adjust that. So we're going to go to the position right when the hand is actually clicking on the subscribe button, which is approximately here. Then we're going to make a cut to the box layer, which is on track number one. And we're going to go into edit on the layer, which is to the right of the playhead. And here we only need to enable the subscribe text and the shape layer. And once we do that, we will have our red subscribe button. Now we can also do this with different icons, but that means you will have to color correct the icons first or download the same type of icon with a different color and then apply them as an image here because we cannot add a specific color to an image layer which we apply inside of the title section. So that's why you don't see any color changes on the icons when the hand is clicking on them. So the process is a little bit longer but planning ahead will definitely speed everything up. Just keep that in mind if you want to have different colors to these as well. You would need to have the PNG files of the same hand into different different colors. So by having something like Affinity Photo, you can easily pull this off and you just import two of each image or two of each icon and then you disable and enable according to the click. Now, like I said, adding the image earlier in your process will definitely help you at the end of the animation. As we can see here, I have so many layers because of the cutting that I've made. And that means I have to go into each individual layer and then apply the image. And in this case, the image is a little bit too large, uh, but there is an easy fix to this because it's not like way too too large so we can just do minor changes to the scale y and stretch it in to fit within the frame now the bad thing for me is that i had to do this with every single layer that i had on the timeline because i didn't apply the image at an earlier stage so the earlier you can add the image the better it will be at the end of your animation but now that we have all the images applied let's take a look at the animation now, if you end up having multiple cuts to your layers, you can always try to trim it down to see if that helps. So for instance, here I was able to trim in the beginning and the end, and I was left with only three layers. 
Now, if you want to do some adjustments later on, like I mentioned, you can keep this as your project and then keep it as a template. You can go in and you can change the colors of the background layers, the colors of the text, colors of the subscribe button and the, and the images. So that's also a good thing about creating a proper animation to begin with because you can save it as a template for later to use and, and change around with colors and, and photos. So now that we have our finished animation, let's export this and move it over to a different clip. So the export settings we're gonna use is 1080p and we're gonna change the video codec to AGVC with transparency and crank up the video quality to 70 megabits per second. Then we're gonna render and open up a new project. Dragging the animation over to the project, we now have our transparent animated, oops, here we have some cinematic bars let's remove those so here we have the transparent subscribe box animation applied to a separate project now there's so many different ways that we can make this and i really hope that I put you in the right direction by making this a video so you can take your create create creative mind uh, so you can take your creative mind and then go out there and or just you know whether you edit outside or inside and you can just make your own uh, subscribe buttons by adding the things and uh, following some of the steps in this video oh so um, that's gonna be the end for today now if you want this template is going to be all the way down at the description below. So with that said, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.